Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another day of Overwatch Apex Season 4. I am Achilles, joined at the desk by Wolf. And it is time to get down to brass tacks. We are into our final match days of this season. Final semi-final. Final way as they get that initial cap coming through. Did lose out on Cox, and Echo was able to take him down, building up for that first EMP, but otherwise run away going to have the initial control of this game. So Neko's going to be running the Sombra here, and we've seen Sombra would make a do wonders together used in conjunction because you remove the mobility for heroes, the snipes come through. We'll see if they can make it happen here. EMP is still a ways away. Stitch though here with this trademark tracer going to be dashing around. Goes low, has to force out the recall, gets all that HP back. In the meantime, NC Foxes have come up with a fair few kills for their own for themselves. And Stitch tries to bring it back, but Kino here swapping over to that Widowmaker comes up with a shot, takes him down. He's trying to lead over to that initial flip here for the side of the NC Foxes, and seems like he will be able and to. EMP won them the last fight. He's going to have to do it again here. No other real tools. Kino making the switch to Soldier. Maybe going to have to shoot Mission of Barrel once that EMP goes off. Double 99 here for both teams. Run away with the upper hand at the moment as they are, are, are in control. They take down Neko, get the pop out there onto Sasson, and get rid of Pumple as well. No tank line available for the NC Foxes, which means Hoxall draws out the Dragon Blade yet again, finds two kills, doesn't even need to cut them down, just dashes his way to success. And a hard fought one, but Runaway are able to take the first round of Ilios as they win out on Ruins. To play, but seems like they might not need it. They already go for it. They find Neko, but just like that, NC Foxes drains back, comes up with two kills to pop out there onto the mech as well for Janus, who might as well be dead, but actually finds a returning blast there into the face of so Minsu to take him down. Point gonna be under contention. No cap coming through yet, but Runaway, they wanna try to stay in this one. Jan Janu is kiting his way back. Seems like they will just go ahead and win. I don't think that's gonna be a very likely scenario here. Hawksold going in deep. Dashes his way out to safety. He's using the barrier there. Trying to keep himself alive and in the fight. Keep that harass coming through, but oh wow, Sasson throws down the self-destruct. Finds Stitch and Tizzy absolutely uh, abysmal there from the side of Runaway. Not able to get out of range of that self-destruct. It's thrown down inside of a building with a pillar. Yeah, very sloppy play there actually in terms of reaction time. Just must have been trying to focus a uh, shot call something else. So that's the flip for Fox. Oh, drop the sound barrier, 48 HP before he gets that shielding to come through. And keeps the team in the fight here for the moment. Kino as well, attack Pfizer is ready, wants to wait out this transcendence, but Hoxel comes dashing through and just gets rid of the Soldier 76. Now he'll draw out the Dragon Blade, chasing in, has both supports cornered and will take down Neko, takes down Hyuk, gets rid of Sasin, and Hoxel is just putting on a clinic with the Genji, gets the melee into Somensu, and this could be it. There you go, it ticks down, and Runaway will close out Ilio. Very patient play there by Hoxel, and the target was Kino. They knew he had the TAC visor available, and they basically put everything on me. Seems to be sneaking Aikino onto the high ground where they can fire pot shots on the low ground, but Runaway's running a dive cop, and two for two, he's tried it. He's been spotted and been dove upon and killed. I think they might need to take a different approach here. Aikino's only at 50% of the tack visor at the moment. Again, Fox is coming through, but Hoxall draws out the Dragon Blade. He's in the back line. He gets rid of Yuck. They get rid of Neko as well, who is freshly swapped over onto that on a pop out onto the mech. And Foxes just cannot get a break at all. Sasson's gonna have to jump off. Will not get taken down by those shurikens at the end, but so much delay, so much stagger coming through from this Diva pickoff that it's just, there goes 15 more seconds. Yet we're down in under a minute and a half. And that first tick, that first tick still has not come through. Uh, Runaway did put all their eggs into the basket in that choke point though. I wonder if they'll be able to recontest. Stitch is gonna have to buy time. Somebody is contesting onto the point right now. They get halted just past those two ticks. 84% here. Going to go upward, but the rest of the team is pouring through here from the side of Runaway. Pulse bomb off screen, finds the kill in onto Yuck, but they need so much more than that. With Sitch and Hawks all going down, bump for following suit. Seems like NC Foxes will be able to get this cap inevitably here onto point A. Just after a little bit more delay from Johnny. I think it's a pretty fantastic position for Runaway regardless. They bought a lot of time. NC Foxes make it happen on their fourth attempt there as Tizzy gets the nano, fails to get any picks, and then Pulse Bomb did so much damage. We didn't really talk about it, the Pulse Bomb from Summonsu in that choke point did a lot of damage, and then the nanos that we saw from Neko were just more successful there overall. But still, as you mentioned, not a great time bank. They bought a lot of time here. Number of ultimates on both sides. Hawksall nearly with the Dragon Blade as well. Miss, most important missing ult is Pumple. They had such great coordination for the last fight, but not for this one. 
And so he used it wastefully there as the picks came through. Nano's gonna help him build it, but so much of an advantage for Runaway. And he leaps in the sound barrier to answer immediately from the side of Runaway. Answered by NC Fox as they try to push back through. Pulse Bomb gets thrown out by Mitsu, but it goes wide. Doesn't find anything, and Hoxwell has the Dragon Blade drone out. Finds a kill in onto Kino. Looking for a little bit more. The Shuriken's going through onto Neko, but in the meantime, nobody is in onto that payload. So they'll just go ahead and uh, pull that one out. Yeah, C9 <laughs> indeed. I feel like there was a, a really nice shimmer of brilliance for Neko, who was singing his own praises on the Zenyatta, uh, even cut, being called a megalomaniac there by Runaway, saying, oh, he thinks he's so wonderful, he's so great on the Zenyatta, but is his on Huxol, segregating your, yourself from half of your team that, can, that needs to be there to protect you as the sole support is so very risky. And Runaway just goes in, they find him, they punish him immediately, and then there's nothing that the Foxes could do from there on out. So it's good stuff by Runaway, good. Uh, just call to go straight in up the street and say, da you know, the point be damned, we want to get these kills, and then the point will come through afterward. Sound Barrier invested from Runaway in the meantime, though, as Hoxel has the Dragon Blade, but doesn't want to even have to invest it, just shoves Yuck back around the street as they keep that payload moving forward. Oh, and they're just getting... False Bomb comes through, finds the pop out there. On to the mech. Now Hoxel with the Dragon Blade yet again. <laughs> finds one, but tries to sprint up the wall, but just can't get there fast enough. His tiny little hands can't carry him up, so he manages to stay alive, at least for the moment. Yuck, in the meantime, just firing away, has to push forward to try to keep Bubble alive, but he goes down too quickly, they can't get it. Because he finds the kill, Sotsky popped out of the mech, and NC Foxes suddenly do not have a tank line. It was way too late for that sound barrier to come through, and now they're just going to get picked off Stitch. Double pulse bomb comes down, gets rid of Neko, gets rid of Kino, and they are just going to put them in the grave runaway. Pushing forward a couple more inches. There we go. They close out Nabani with plenty of time remaining in the bank. And now they're 2-0. Halfway to closing out this best Chuck of seven. needed the sound barrier there. He needed to keep Pumple alive to get a primal rage. That needed to happen. It was his job because the transcendence was already spent for Neko. It was the only way to keep Pumple alive, which was their only defensive setup. Sashin used his... Uh, he used his self-destruct. Uh, swift ones that we've seen. Not going to be the talent composition, though. Not going to be accompanied by the EMP. Neko is going to be the one available with that, however. Some to try to throw in that pulse bomb. Not going to be finding anything with that explosion. It's going to be a bit of a trade coming through. Assassin goes ahead, picks up multiple kills, but now Hawksall finds one. Looking for a little bit more. Does have that Dragon Blade ready to go. Doesn't get the kill in. No way. At the end, but uh, I mean, they're already ticking up. Finds the dash through, gets rid of Yuck, still has that Dragon Blade ready to go, but he's so low, has to dash in underneath the bridge, trying to get himself that health pack, get back into the fight. Sound Barrier comes through, keeps him alive, he finds the hits it on the Neko, takes him down, looking for a little bit more. Doesn't want to go near Ikino you know, as well, though. We'll go ahead, reach up onto the high ground, gets back in onto the point, but Runaway are still just going to keep things moving. Sound Barrier invested from the side of the NC boxes, but it's not really gaining them anything. They're just streaming back in one after the other. Kino into the ice block. The Primal Rage is there to try to smack him off. Doesn't quite get it. He still has the delay coming through as it's only 73%, but the kills are still just there for Runaway. He just takes them down one after the other over and over again. And it seems like Runaway should be able to close out this war of attrition. Oh, Hack certainly. in onto Cox, but that doesn't matter. He doesn't need anything other than these two, these two shotguns that he is just firing away with. Blossom comes down, finds the kill in on the pump. Blizzard will be thrown out, but the sound barrier is there to chew up all of that damage and run away. I just 24. forced their way in. Five minutes, 24, as you say, to close it out there and it's, on their well, attack. And it only picks on the supportsman. No support elements to buy time. Kino, hell-bent on sticking with this Widow, might just swap it after his ult expires. We'll see, I think he might just give it one life, and if he gets taken down, then we'll see the swap coming through. For now, though, does still, still have that Infrasight ready to go. He's looking for a shot. Can't quite find it. Gets a little bit of a body shot. No, the hot but the deflection comes through, and he just takes down Kino with his own bullet. Beautifully done. Now Hawksall retreating back over, up onto the point. We'll see that EMP dropped in by Cox. Dragon Blade drawn out, finds one, gets the pop out on the sauce, and they take him down. And for that kill to follow up through, in onto Neko. Quite get him. It's really He'll rough, man. Uh, they're gonna have to make this happen right now. Kino on the junk rat. This rip tire could ruin everything. Do they see it? I don't know if they do. It's they coming from behind. Yet. He's trying to drop this one in. Oh, Finds great his angle. way in and gets rid of Kino. An exchange there from junk rat to junk rat. Stitch oh, just man. absolutely eliminates him, and all hell is broken loose. A double kill coming through from him as he gets Somensu with that satchel charge. Gonna be looking for a little bit more. Sound barrier comes through from the NC Foxes. Hawksall with the Dragon Blade holding on to it for the moment, looking for his window of opportunity. 
And it seems like he might just not even have to use it to get rid of the supports. Just finds the kill in onto Neko. Cuts through Sauce and knocks him out of the mech. And he's going to get taken down. And that is going to be it. Runaway close out Anubis after NC Fox's foolishly pick it against them. Yeah. And now they are at match point in this semifinal, ready to advance to the grand final eight days from Still today. Still the one looking to close out this push. Forward now unhindered in towards point A. Want to get that completion. Need to have a pretty speedy street space at this point, given how much the clock has been drained down. Tizzy finds one. He's looking for another, just chasing Hyuk down. And he might just be able to get this kill. Hyuk goes in, orb of discord in onto him. He'll get taken down. Self-destruct, not going to be finding anything for Rhea. And that is going to be the completion here for Runaway. Now, well, 3 minutes 45 on the clock. Just a couple meters shy of point B is what they're aiming for. And then they are through to the grand final. Well, I mean, that was a really good defense from the boxes based on Kino's play there. But better for Hoxall in terms of Dragon Blade damage. Bumper survival there was better than what we saw from Puck, who nearly got away with But he makes it back into the back in time to rejoin the fight, to try to buy some time off of this time big from Runaway, because they still have a minute and 24 seconds left Jonu to go. With the juice. They are so damn close. Janu comes up with a kill in on Aria, but gets taken down by Neko at the same time. Stitch goes forward, gets rid of Yuck. Cox has been taken out. Support's dead on either side. Runaway just trying to win this war of attrition, and Hoxall is helping them do that. The sound barrier comes through. Pumple's been eliminated. Sassen goes down. That's going to be Kino. That's going to be the game. Runaway, they close it out a 4 0, and they will advance to the grand finals to face off against GC Busan. Runners up in season two they'll get a second attempt here in season four to try to take home the trophy and the boxes are just added to the collection of strong teams this team went through in order to make finals they defeated mvp space x6 uh, and gc it's really great now i'm really excited i can't say anything i'm really excited when i play the game gc buzan is と알수있었고그래서약간예상한것같아요그래도4대막한세트도못따지는못아 프로피스 선수는 그냥 혼자서 다막 만들어내고 하는 것 같아요. 어 저번 시즌은 광탈했고 저 저번 시즌 이 시즌 때 결승 갔다가 준우승 했었잖아요. 근데 이번 결승은 그냥 간절함 이런 거 갖고 연습 열심히 해서 우승하도록 하겠습니다.